risk assessments. Click on risk assessments and the first thing that comes up is a list of tasks that we've pre-built into your system that best represent the type of work that you do as a business. You're easily able to search for these by clicking search in the top right hand corner. It'll then come up with a list of different search criteria, fill this in and it'll automatically drop down the ones that you wish to use. Once you've found the particular one that you want to use as a template on the right hand side, there's a button that says use as template. Click this and then the document will become active to be used as a template moving forward. The first thing that you need to do is then type in the project contract, start date, expected job duration, amongst other things, and any specific risk assessment notes. So that may be any specific site access or regress instructions or anything that you want to make reference to as regards that particular task. Once you're happy that you filled in all the information on that first page, click next stage. The next stage asks you to identify people or groups of people affected by that work that you're carrying out. We've already added in at this point groups of people like employees or members of the public or subcontractors, but there's boxes that allow you to add in your own. If you do add in your own, that's fine, but moving forward they'll be added to your system and you won't need to do it again. You can also add in individuals by name. Very useful if you've got members of staff that you'd wish to make reference to within the document. Once you're happy with this, it's just as simple as clicking next stage. The next stage of risk assessment is identifying the hazards associated with that job. Our templates will have most of these built in, but if there's anything specific you want to make reference to, click select and it'll bring up a pop-up box where you're easily able to select from thousands of additional hazards that could be relevant to that particular job. Once you've done this, click next stage. The next stage will then outline a list of control procedures that you could possibly put in place to mitigate that particular hazard. It's a very simple stage, all you need to do at this point is delete the stuff that you're not doing and click select next to the hazard if there's anything additional that you want to build in. Once you're happy with this, click next stage. The next stage is risk ranking. So now that you've put in place control procedures to mitigate the particular hazards, it asks you to select from a pre-designed list to outline what now the probability is that there's going to be an accident or an incident regarding that particular hazard, or what the severity is likely to be if that hazard becomes realized. Click next stage when you've done this. What then comes up is an outline of the PPE that you should be wearing on that particular task. It's all pictorial, so just put a tick in any personal protective equipment that you're going to be wearing on that site. Then click next stage. The last stage of the risk assessment gives you one last opportunity to scroll up through the document and ensure that everything you want in there is now in there. It also allows you the opportunity to set a date for review. This may be in line with an accident that you've had as regards that particular task or it may just be a routine review and the system will automatically remind you when that date crops up. If it's a one-off job and you don't anticipate doing that job in the future, it also allows you to set it as a one-off. Click the one-off button and the system will never ask you to review the document. Once you're happy with this, click next stage and then click confirm and post. A list of options then appears on your screen. One of the main ones is assigning that particular risk assessment to employees that are affected by that work. If you've already selected people that could be affected, they'll already appear in the document and you can just click assign next to their name. Or if you want to do this retrospectively, you can click assign employees to current document and you'll be able to select from a pre-designed list the people that you want to read that document and sign it off. Going back to the list, you can then also open up the document as a PDF 
and this is what a completed one of these looks like. The signatures for the members of staff that have signed this off will then appear on this document moving forward as and when they have signed it off. Now you've completed a risk assessment, you'll probably want to complete the corresponding method statement for the same job. Again from that list you can click create method statement and it'll take you through to the first stage of the method statement which is the site details. Providing you completing the method statement directly from the risk assessment, it automatically interfaces with it to ensure that the site details are already on that document eliminating the need to type them out more than once. The next stage of method statements is the standard site safety notices or general precautions. These are a list of certain ways that you deal with particular problems that arise on site. Things like how do you manage first aid, site access and egress and welfare facilities on site. We've put in there a few generic ones to help you out but all of these are fully editable by clicking on them and saving them moving forward. Hit next stage and the next thing that comes up is the stage 3 of method statements. In here you'll see a list of tasks that we've pre-built into the system that best represent the way that you do your work as a business. These are then easily selectable or editable depending if you, you need to change them and then can be added by clicking on them and highlighting them and clicking the add to selected tasks. They will then appear in the document moving forward and you can arrange these chronologically or in the order that you're doing the job to ensure that this method statement reads right for anyone that wants to receive it through. After this, just click finish method statement and then like the risk assessments, you can either assign these to particular employees or you can print this off as a PDF and that's method statements complete.